Okay, this is a re-upload of the mystery, the custom mystery minis because I had some problems on my end of the video and I have no idea if that it was like that for everyone else, but just in case, I'm going to like re-record it. So anyway, I guess we should get started in you know, Fredbear. And basically just a basic uh, black light golden Freddy, but with uh, the white pupils. And then I decided to call him Fredbear because he looks more like Fredbear than Golden Freddy. Next up is Shadow Bonnie. And I'm j I have a, they're all in a pile here. I'm just grabbing from up top. But he's this Shadow Bonnie. He's like the first custom Mystery Mini I made. Basically, he's like the first Toy Bonnie I've ever had, aka the first Mystery Mini. My favorite character, Toy Bunny, was the first mystery mini I ever gotten. This is this exact dude. And I t kind of took the design from uh, Overnight 2, if anyone knows that game. I kind of took his design for that Shadow Bunny, just because I wanted a little bit extra on it. Instead of just white eyes and white teeth and the rest of him all dark shadowy black. Like the normal one. Anyways, uh, moving on is... Mangle. Actually, from the last recording, I actually fixed up her paint so she looks a little nicer. Anyways, well, this is Mangle after she was made off of a regular glow in the dark Mangle. Since I didn't really have the original, I just and I had a glow in the dark one. I just painted the glow in the dark one to be more of the original. With adding my two two of my own little features compared to the original. Well, the original had pink eyelashes and pink eyelids where I took, make bl black eyelashes and purple eyelids. And I think that in my opinion that's a better design. Anyway, moving on. Dark Time Freddy. The Fun Time Freddy from the Fourth Closet book. And I removed Bon Bon, which Bon Bon's up on my computer tower. Anyway, um, hold on. Help Wanted a Phantom Foxy, who was made off of a Glow the Dark Foxy. That's all to really say about him. Tormented Chica, who was made because I had extra Chica, and I had no idea what to do with her. Anyways, that's who she is. Moving on. Nightmare Lefty, and I'm not so good drawing stars on a tiny mystery mini, so that's what I had to do. It's the effort and the thought that counts, I guess. Next up, Scrap Trap, who was made off of a normal spring trap, that should be obvious, which just had his left arm removed and his little half ear piece removed. Next up we have Nightmare, who was made off of a normal Nightmare Freddy. And I was going to make him out of a Nightmare Fred Bear, but then the whole trade was Golden Freddy and whatnot. Next up, Scrap Rockstar Foxy. Was made out of a normal Rockstar Foxy. And, well, that's all to really say about him. And now he's upside down. Probably move them. There you go. Okay. This man's trying to escape. Alright. Toy Spring Bonnie. And who was just made shortly because uh, this guy was made off of a, a glow the dark toy Bonnie. Who was given to me by a friend who is in, I guess I can no longer see. Anyway, so I should probably fix up his gold paint, huh? He's been up on the computer for who knows how long. And there's Toy Bonnet, aka Toy Bonnie's sister, who I also need to fix up. I still have yet to do that, actually. And this is her. I'm not so good at drawing the eye, like painting the eyes, so I'll have to fix that up later. Uh, yeah, this is the full design, even the little bunny tail. Yeet. And, oh, God, she's trying to escape. Alright, the Dark Time Baby, who was supposed to be like a Dark Time 
version of baby, that should be obvious. And she, I had an extra circus baby and I had no idea what to do with it, so I did that. Since I've been seeing a lot of art of her online, I decided, you know, why not make a Mr. Mini? Next up is Scrap Rockstar Freddy. And, well, made off of a normal Rockstar Freddy. That should be obvious. It's like the full withering effect. Uh, next up is Phantom Chica. And, well, she was made off of a glow in dark Chica, obviously. And, well, I'm gonna save this man for last. And anyway, Phantom Freddy, who was made off of a Rockstar Freddy that I had. I didn't have any normal Freddies. So, I just made it off of a phantom. Uh, not phantom, uh, off of a rock star. I'm getting my words confused. Anyways. Oh, his head's a little loose, so it's easy to turn, like, back and forth. So you can make, like, quick actions. Yay. He's like, you say something mean to him, and he's like, What the hell you say to me? <laughs> it's like that fast. Anyways, I wouldn't make him with a normal Freddy, but all I had was a rock star Freddy. And we have Phantom Balloon Boy, who was a maid off of a, a blacklight balloon boy who made it, it ended up breaking. Not sure how, but I guess being in a bag for who knows how long will do that to you. Luckily, my original one's propeller didn't break, but my original balloon boy's balloon snapped off, and I have no idea where it's at. Next up, the last three, huh? And they're both, they're all three bonnies. Next is Jacko Bonnie, who was made off of a normal Nightmare Bonnie. And who was originally customized as a Nightmare Shadow Bonnie, but I decided I want Jacko Bonnie. So, I made Jacko Bonnie. And, yes, I did like the black with the orange purple pupils, not purples. I, English is hard. Um, well, he was made with, like, that people so you could actually see where his eyes are. Anyway, otherwise, it would just look like his head's a ginormous pumpkin of some sort. And, fun fact, the original Funko one has the eye designs like that, so I guess it worked out. Alright, we're gonna save this man for last, and now I'm gonna grab this dude, and he's trying to escape. A Rockstar Toy Bunny. Was made off of a normal Rockstar Bonnie, except you may not be able to tell the difference, but his color is, uh, his blue is a little more lighter than the original Rockstar Bonnie. Look, I'll put them, I'll to put the Rockstar Bonnie side to side. If I can find the boy, there he is. There, that's the difference. Yeah, his blue is a little lighter. And the last but not least, the icon of the channel, Nightmare Toy Barney. Which, he just was made because I don't know what to Because I was bored and I had an extra Nightmare Barney. Which was, bef like, before the Jack o Barney one. Before I got that one, I had an extra one of Nightmare Barney and I had no idea what to do with it. And I was bored. So I made this dude. Anyways, well, that's all the customs. And since my last recording... Show this, I should probably show this off too. An easy build of a scrap baby plushie. And hey, if I could do it, Funko could do it. So Funko, get on it. And well, this is just an easy design. Take some Sharpie and color over the face and the body. Sew some buttons on there for the lights. And so take some fabric and glue it on her head. Simple. Also, I have these bootleg Mr. Minis over here of Nightmare Fredbear, Circus Baby, and Funtime Freddy. Any, any ideas what I should do with these? Because I could just paint them into something else because I already have the original versions. Yeah, this this dude, Bon Bon, like what the heck happened to Bon Bon? Bon Bon got so messed up. <laughs> Bootlegs these days are terrible. And, what a, and Circus Baby, too. Her dress is supposed to be red. Why is it pink? Jeez, she's got, like, scuffs of paint missing and all sorts of stuff. I mean, the only one that looks remotely okay is Nightmare Fredbear. And even that doesn't say much, considering 
he doesn't look too good either, but he looks the best out of these three. I'd say the worst out of these three is probably Circus Baby. She's the most inaccurate one of these three. Anyways, have any ideas of what I should do with these three?